And if you stick around for long enough, and I keep editing these videos, you might be able to watch us build our own house one day. It's moving day. More packing. Okay. Cattle trailer is coming today. There's our moving truck, aka cattle trailer. It's the middle of winter and I'm just putting anything that could moisturize on my skin. And it's not even necessarily face stuff. But if something says body lotion, isn't your face a part of your body? Hmm. Kind of getting to the point where I'm just throwing whatever in a box. We're moving to the country. We want to be closer to family, we want to have another baby, we want to have smaller bills, a bigger garden, and chickens! <gasps> My husband, Brett, grew up rurally in a small town of 600 people. I grew up on the west coast in Victoria, BC, and I've always considered myself a city girl. I've lived in Victoria, Whistler, Winnipeg, and Vancouver. This will be my first time that I've ever lived in a small town. This will be the first time that I've lived in a house with well water and the first time my mailing address will be a P.O. box, which we still need to apply for. This move happened fast. And we had it sold on offer day, four days before Christmas. All of our stuff is currently inside a cattle trailer inside a machine shed while we await possession of our new house. Somewhere in the middle of all of this, I decided that I want to try my hand in making YouTube videos. My hope for these videos is not only that they are a way to keep in touch with us, but also that I can share some of the projects that we will be working on at our new house. The house is a mobile home that we will be doing interior and exterior renovations on. And I'd love to make some videos about the process of those renovations. There's an eight stall horse barn on the property with a little garage in the middle, in the front of it, I should say. And we have dreams of converting that into a chicken coop and a workshop for some woodworking. We have two acres of land that's currently just grass and we want to plant trees, develop garden beds, grow as much food as we can. Our long-term goal is to design and build our small dream house on the land. Brett has been working from home for two years and there's a room in this new house that we will be converting into an office space for him and i'll be setting up a more permanent quilting studio space i'm really excited about this move also takes the financial pressure off of me needing to find a job and in turn us trying to find childcare for our son during a pandemic i'm gonna stay at home with him full time and settle into that role. I will still need a lot of help and support with doing that, especially full time. And I'm hoping to create some videos where I talk about parenting, respectful parenting, and how to support the parents in our lives. Do you need me to pick you up? This is my first time filming, editing, and creating a YouTube video and I think, I'd like to think, that with practice they can only get better over time. For instance, I'm currently filming this 
in the evening with no daylight on my cell phone late at night because I just finished putting our two-year-old to bed. And in a room that was Brett's in high school. So I would like to think that lighting-wise, acoustics-wise, camera-wise, and even content-wise, it can only get better than this. I'd love if you toss me a vote of confidence for starting this new channel by subscribing right here and right now. You can always unsubscribe. I am someone who likes to really share processes and processes, especially like learning processes. So I'd love if you subscribed and we can figure this stuff out together. That's not going to work. And if you stick around for long enough, and I keep editing these videos, you might be able to watch us build our own house one day. Every time somebody moves, they say, this is definitely going to be the last time we ever move. Hang on. Hang on tight, buddy. Mommy, see! What do I see? Some ice cream? And no dice. I saw the ice. Is it, uh, is it snow? It's snow. Oh. Eat snow. Eat some snow? Thank you. Hmm. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh yeah, I guess I need to wax mine soon. Okay, so one of the very last things that we have left in our house is a king size mattress from our bedroom and so I went on YouTube and I googled how to move a king size mattress and I found this great video that basically you buy a mattress bag which I was able to find at Home Depot it's a really thick plastic so it protects it from um, anything during moving which is great for us too because ours has to be in it has to be in storage now for a few weeks and then you fold it in half and like tie it super tight with rope um, Brett however thinks that because it's a memory foam mattress we're going to be able to I don't think it's memory foam I think it's just foam but that we're gonna be able to get like roll it a bit and I really don't think we're gonna get it to roll at all like it came rolled up but it was vacuum sealed in an Ikea bag. I think the best we're gonna get for this mattress is folding it in half. So I guess we'll see. Yeah, so I think you grab one. Yeah, like get a little ready. I think this one will be enough. Well, we'll need like one on this side and one on that. 
myself just pushing against the wall, so it's just very good effort. Is it rips already? Just like from like grabbing it in the rope, oh. searching. In the truck. Okay, that's it. My very first YouTube video. What did you think? Leave us a comment below. Let us know what you thought of all our moving shenanigans. Have you ever tried to move a king size mattress before? And the next time you see a video will be in our new house. Can't wait to show you. Bye.